service ideas to earn money with your new skills. Okay, you know the guidelines to be successful. You have a new account and you have your goal. What can you do now? You need to find out how you can help people. If you want to really help, you need to find what they need and what they are already paying for. There are two steps for this. First, you need to evaluate yourself. How good are you? Does people compliment your work? If so, then you can definitely sell your work. If not, I strongly suggest taking some time to improve your skill. Can anyone improve? Yeah, absolutely. One of my first students, my nephew, started drawing and of course his first drawings were not that great but he kept practicing and practicing and now his work is pretty good. It took him about two or three years of practice, of course, not daily, but around one or two drawings a week. Sometimes he wouldn't draw anything for a time and then he would continue drawing. I know I should probably tell you that you can get away with no skill, but I would be lying. I prefer to be honest and if you're not very good at what you're going to offer, then you're not going to get a decent amounts of money. Remember Charmaine, the study case? She invested time on getting certifications and making sure she was the best resume writer she could be. So if you think you can get away with low quality service, you are investing your time in becoming a scam artist. And I can't help you there. You are on your own. But if you really want to deliver some value, invest on yourself and become really good so people will happily hire you to help them on their projects. Okay, now, if you think you're really good at this, then proceed to step two. What you need to do is dive into the marketplace. For this example, let's say you took our course Engage Your Audience with Animated Presentations in After Effects. So let's see how you can help people with that skill. I just pretend I'm going to hire someone and look for animated presentation. In here, I can see what people are already paying for. All these gigs you see here in the first page are there because they rank well on Fiverr, so it's a good idea to follow their example. Here are some ideas. I will create an awesome professional to the explainer. Okay, I could do that, so I take that, I copy, and... I will have an Excel file. You can put it on paper or any word processor. And then I will create a seven brand. I will create seven brand new video intro animations. This is a good idea too. This guy is selling seven, seven videos for the price of one gig, seven. So I can take note of that. Let me copy and then paste. And now I have two. That could also work. I will do explainer video or kinetic text introduction. Yeah. Okay, then copy and paste right there. I will create a kinetic typography video with animated. Uh, looks like he ran out of space for his words. And you see, you can get some ideas for animated video presentations. I could also look for the keywords, explainer video, and then get more ideas for that. You see? Nice, nice, nice. Is this all you can do? No. What you learn in that course, the engage your audience with animated presentation, can be used in many other creative ways. You can call it promotional videos or dynamic music lyric videos or maybe introductions or you could also do animated logos for trailers, etc. How do you get ideas for that? By investing time in diving deep into the Fiverr marketplace. If you come from the Illustrator course, then you can check storyboarding or other graphic services like logos, illustration services, you can get them to send you their picture and you make an illustrated version of it. 
you can offer services for their Facebook cover of business cards, flyers, turning raster into vectors. That means having a pixelated image and turning it into beautiful vectors. The idea is to find things that you can actually be good at. Remember, if you definitely have no skill, don't scam people selling them garbage. Napoleon Hill says that if you put garbage in, you'll get garbage out. And so, if you put garbage into your work, eventually it will backstab you and you will get bad reviews, bad business, and no profit. You need to deliver great value to deserve great profits. Focus on really and honestly doing the best for people and the money will come. Okay? So, how much time should you invest checking the Fiverr marketplace for ideas? Well, at least try to devote two or three hours. That is a very long time and it can be tedious. Oh, believe me, it is. You must be wondering, two or three hours on just research? Sounds like a lot of time. Should I invest all this time? To what I respond with the same question. I don't know. Should you? Do you really want to make it big on Fiverr? Or do you want to be like the 90% who is not successful? Again, should you invest time and energy on this? Let's pretend you commit to do this. I must tell you, it can be very tedious. And one way to achieve tedious things is by using the Pomodoro Technique, a way to break down tedious tasks into little pieces that can make it easier to finish. We will see how you can do this in the next lesson. See you there!